long time no see, and that is because I have not posted a full length YouTube video in an eternity, and for that I am deeply, deeply, deeply sorry. The reason behind it is, well, school. You see, school is a vast ocean, and I am a little fool that cannot swim. But I think this all boils down to the fact that I have terrible time management and I just struggle with trying to balance school and extracurriculars while also making content for different social media platforms that I post on and I become very stressed. Thankfully though, I am on winter break right now so I do have a little bit of time to relax and recharge my brain battery, but today I bring to you a room makeover slash tour video. You see, the last time I did a room video was about a year ago, and my taste in room decor have definitely changed because I used to really like super bright and colorful things, but now I prefer more toned down things. Well, not like super toned down, but just different tastes. But before we move on to the rest of the video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Mahoyo. Some of y'all might already know that I am absolutely obsessed with their game Genshin Impact, and today I will be talking about yet another game of theirs that I am obsessed with, Tears of Themis. Tears of Themis is a detective-style romance game set in the city of Stellis, where modern technology both gives the city its radiant neon lights, but also shadows of obscurity. Lately, many good and gentle people of Stellis have suddenly grown volatile and violent, and incidents that threaten the city's social security have increased. Xnote is a project that aims to peel away at the layers of data to discover what is truly going on. In Tears of Themis, you can discover this truth by going through main stories to explore what's happening in Celis. It's a detective adventure where you collect evidence and perform interrogations to connect clues. And after all the evidence is collected, you need to carefully decide which pieces of evidence will ensure the swiftest court trial. Additionally, there's romance that blossoms as you create cherished memories with the four male characters. The game's individual character stories and dynamic illustrations further enrich the experience. Mahoyal never fails to wow me with their stunning artwork and phenomenal voice acting. And in the new A Love Home to Scotty event launched on January 1st, there are new beautifully illustrated cards and four new invitations. Once again, I am blown away by the quality of the artwork and definitely go download Shares of Themis if you enjoy detective style romance games. Thank you so much again to Mahoyo for sponsoring this video and now on with the rest of the video. I feel like it's necessary for me to show y'all what my room looked like before just so y'all can see what I was working with and as you can see it was just a lot of things everywhere. That is not a good way of putting it but basically I just really loved very bright colors and I actually do have an old room tour video up where I show what my room looked like before it became super sad and messy but I just decided it was time for me to switch things up. I also do feel like my room is generally a good representation of my mental state and as you can see uh, I was not doing too good for a while there. But the first thing I did was remove my old posters near my bed. When I put them up I was really obsessed with how they looked but over time the novelty wore off and I just was not vibing with them anymore. The biggest thing I wanted to change about my room was definitely the color scheme. This time I generally went for a more green slash blue palette with pops of oranges and yellows. Now you would think that after I took down the old posters, I would be putting up new ones, but just kidding, because at the time that I filmed this, my posters had not arrived yet, so I put up shelves. Just kidding, I actually made my dad put up the shelves because I was lazy. Eventually, all my posters arrived, and they're all mostly from Society6 and all posters. I had slowly been collecting posters for a while, and I just wanted to wait until all of them came before I started changing the wall decor. Initially, I tried to make a blueprint of the poster placement on my floor before I put it up on my wall, but ultimately, my efforts were wasted because I ignored the plan completely and just decided to freestyle. 
I wanted the posters to kind of overlay each other and also my camera died, but here is what the finished result looks like. Next up, I revamped the little corner area of my bed area and originally it has some flowers and vines and lights as you can see and I wanted to go for that same idea of having vines and lights in a corner but this time I decided to go with fairy lights. I liked using the fairy lights a lot more compared to the lights I had before which were star shaped but the fairy lights were made from wire and they were very easy to assemble with the vines and I just like twisted them around and it was pretty simple to do. Also, I don't know if this sounds weird, but I feel like fairy lights are just more magical compared to LED lights. I don't know, I just really like fairy lights. For something a little extra and maybe more magical, I also made some hanging butterflies to tie onto the vines. I used twine, string, tape, and plastic butterflies to make them. Initially, I only wanted to use twine, but that did not work out because I ran out of twine. And then I used a bit of string as a substitute, and I also like the way that the string looked. And I just ended up doing both, but they're also just pretty simple to make. And all I did was cut some twine and string and tape that onto the butterflies, and then I tied them onto the vines. When I taped it, I put the tape on both the front and back side of the twine so the butterfly would stay horizontal when hung up rather than flopping to the side. I'm not gonna lie, this method was definitely not perfect because you can see the tape from certain angles and some butterflies still flopped over. Sup y'all, it is definitely nighttime now, but I finished the vine light thing, canopy, fake canopy thing, and honestly, I think it looks pretty cool, but I can't decide if I like twine more or string, so I did both, because originally I was just going to do twine, but then I ran out, so I did string for like half of it, but I don't know if I want to do all string or maybe get more twine. But here's what it looks like. Moving on, I also decided to take down the flowers on my closet. Like with most of my room, I was just simply tired of looking at them. And some of the flowers were missing anyways because I ripped them off and put on a school project. I still wanted a bit of color on that wall, so I replaced the flowers with some Kiki's delivery service cards and I got them as a Christmas gift last year and I hadn't used them yet, so I figured they would be the perfect pop of color for my closet area. Kiki's delivery service holds a very dear place in my heart because it's one of my favorite movies and honestly that movie just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> Lastly, I got some new sheets. I was very excited about them and ignore the fact that they're wrinkly, but I think they're still pretty cute. And I am obsessed with the botanical print on them. Yeah. Hi. Good you? Papa. Um, welcome to my my lair. Mm -hmm. My my crib. I hope mm -hmm. you like your stay here. Mm -hmm. You can come you can come in. I Let me show you around. And now, I finally present to you the tour. Here is an overview of what my room looked like after redecorating and I also did do some things off camera because I would get random bursts of inspiration to redecorate, reevaluate, and rearrange and I did not film those moments. But for my room, I really just wanted to change the overall feel and make it a more calming space. I spend a lot of time in my room, whether it's working on school or working on extracurriculars or working on content, and basically it's a lot of working, and I wanted to be comfortable in an environment where I spend so much of my time. First up on the list is my bed area, and I already showed a lot of clips of me redoing my bed area from earlier on in the video, but I definitely think that it's my favorite part of my room, and I absolutely adore how it came out. Not gonna lie, I thought the butterflies were gonna look kind of weird at first, but I'm actually very happy with how they came out. My main goal for my bed area was to make it cozier, and I just wanted it to be a comforting space. And now, here is a closer look at the stuff on my shelves. And 
the right of my shelves, I have some more posters. And when I was filming, putting up the posters, my camera actually died. But here is a better look at some of the posters on this wall. The smaller prints are from when I went to an art museum with my friend and the bigger ones are from All Posters and Society6. This is not that exciting of a detail, but I also cleaned the green rug in my room and now it's less filthy. Above my rug is my window and I have some plants as well as some little bears. I really love these bears, they're from the thrift store and I have two plants and I'm really hoping that I don't kill them. Sandwiched between the window and the closet is a full length mirror and it's a little broken, but it's okay. And here is a better look at the Kiki cards. I think the blues and the greens go perfectly with the posters near my bed area and looking at them makes me want to rewatch Kiki's delivery service for the 80th time. <laughs> Moving on, we have my desk area, and here I kind of strayed away from the green and blue theme, but I still hung up some finds to match with the other part of my room. I actually redid this part of my room during finals week because whenever I took a break from studying, I would do a little bit of redecorating just for a little moment of peace. I have this dandy little milk sign hanging down and also a wall grid of random shenanigans I like. <laughs> I think my favorite decorations on this part of the wall are the Binti hat from when I cosplayed him and the poster of the people on the lily pads. On my desk, I have this shelf where I mostly keep manga as well as some other random knickknacks, such as some hand lotion, the second volume of Blue Period, and the first volume of Blue Flag, and a Power Nendoroid that I have yet to assemble. I was redoing my room I didn't just want to throw away all my old posters so I reused some of them that I thought would fit with the new aesthetic I was going for. Showing off this heart-shaped earring holder because it is one of the best things in my room. Next to my desk I have some more posters and I'm not gonna lie I don't really like how this wall turned out. I feel like this wall is really random but I also didn't want to have a lot of empty space. We are at my door. It used to have cow prints on it a very long time ago, but I just changed it and I asked my dad to put up some hooks. At night, I feel like my room is just so much more delectable, so much cooler looking because I turn off the main light bulb and then switch on the various other little lighting sources. This bow lamp also just brings me so much serotonin and it's just so cute. I'm also a night owl and having my room look cool definitely helps me be more productive while I work and do the wee hours of the night. <laughs> Thank you.